내가 Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. The first of this three-game weekend series between the Memphis Redbirds and the Nashville Sounds. We've got baseball on the show. And it's coming up next. Ethan Small gets the ball for the opener in front of these hometown fans. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four. Ready now is Mario Terrell. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And here we go. You got this. Pitch on the way. No balls in one strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. <laughs> Next, it'll be Joe Green. Second. The center fielder. Joe. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Daniel Robertson, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Robertson. The wind up and the 0 1. Lifted in the air to center. Terrell gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on the solo home run, as that will give them a lead. We move ahead to the top of the second now. The sounds lead it one to nothing. You're out. Three. He's out. So next to hit is Tristan Lutz. The right fielder. Tristan Lutz. Now the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Terrell is there now, and he has it. Two gone. That's ball four. Next to hit is Mario Terrell. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. And hey, Matty, it was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled this guy. That has to be in the back of his mind as he walks to the plate right here. Has to protect against looking foolish again on the off speed. Ball one to start the at bat. Bases right are here. empty, on, one now. man out. A ball and a strike. One strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now. 
pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Liner towards second. That's his first Make base turn. Make Find the ball. Two now. Hey, that a guy. There you go. Now that the third base at the plate, Nolan no. Gorman. Oh, as he'll Gorman. take a look at ball one. One ball. Flew out okay. in his only at bat so far. Hey, let her in. Let her in. Come on, big guy. He's driving right here. The 1 0. Pitch out. Good ball. Good ball. Good ball. Teams with just two hits apiece thus far. The bag. Dive, but he's back. In the dirt here, and he'll keep that runner where he is, but meanwhile, it's 3 0 now. Hey, let her rip one time. In there on the corner, three and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Hey, let it rip one time. He's right here. And there he goes towards second. Taken for strike three. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's my boy. Come on, big guy. He's driving. He's driving. 1 and 0. Oh, here it is. In there, and it's even at 1. one, and one. Carroll stands in second with two gone. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And, oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. 2 and 2 now. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you gotta let go on. Go! He set the 2 2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Hira drifts over to make the catch. The side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Nashville's out on top, one to nothing. Stepping in is Peyton Henry, worked a walk in the his catcher. first plate appearance. Henry. Here comes the one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Terrell is there, two gone. First base. Next to stand in is Mario Terrell, singled in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Heading out towards right, shallow. Halfway, halfway. Here comes the right fielder. He's there and records the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Daniel Robertson. The first baseman, Daniel Robertson. Now the three and two pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. 
Next, Mario now Terrell. Back. He flew out team. in his last A.B. Mario. Hey, here we go. Terrell. Hey, get your pitch. <laughs> Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Oh! Out of four. Good lead. Good lead. This is where I think you find out a lot about a pitcher's moxie. No one warming up in the pen. He's in trouble right now. He knows it. Can he right the ship and stay composed? Hey, you can do it. No one bet. That's good. The 1-0. Line to the right side. On the back, on the back, on the back. On the first and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Redbirds lead it. Three to two. center field. Terrell is there and he has it for the out. He's out. Out. You're out. Ball four. Take your base. Big at bat now and here now is Mario Terrell. Needs a hit Mario. here to bring the go ahead Let's run go. home from third with two away. Your turn, your turn. Come on now, big fella. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. Now a 5-3 game. Dan, this had all the makings of going extra innings, but right there, a knock to drive in two for your team. Yeah, Dero, that's a huge two RBI base hit here in the top of the ninth inning. Aaron Ashby takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 87. Aaron Ashby. Now batting the third base base. Nolan. Into the box now, Nolan Gorman. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Wait for a good one. Trying to keep the game close, here's the pitch. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Softly on the ground to third. All right, you're here, you're here, you're here. He did over the short way to retire the zone. So two runs on just one lone hit, one error, and two left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Memphis is out on top, five to three. Out, three. Ball four, take the base. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though, 
Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Memphis came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Angel Rondon claims the win out of the pen, his first. Henry Silva oh, earns like the it. save out of the first bullpen, the his first of the year. So Five that's a wrap for us here tonight. For Joe my partners Aaron, in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. This guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them. He's going to have a really good game. Get the ball He's out. Boy. Next up is Mario Terrell. Your pitch right here. Runners at the corners here with only oh, one yeah. gun. Terrell. There you go now. It's coming. Here it is. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Pitch popped up. Ramos is there. Got Two down. Down. And now a diving tag as he hangs on for a double play. And this inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Ball four. Take your base. Ball four. Take your base. Stepping up is Chucky Robinson. He's back in the starting the lineup for this one after Chucky. sitting out last night's game. Robinson. Hard hit towards center. Two, two, two. Terrell is there to no put runner, it away, no runner, and the runner will right be forced there. to Hold retreat it. back to first. of the plate, Mario Terrell. Now batting, the center fielder, Mario Terrell. Like you can, come on. Pickoff move to second, no, runner safe. back safely. Here's the first pitch. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1-0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Oh. 
Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it. Right here. From the stretch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. That's ball four. Three. Keep it. Digging in next, Austin Dean. He popped out in his Double first trip. Zero. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Terrell will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We played four full. The Redbirds lead it one to nothing. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mario Terrell, flew out last time up. Mario Terrell. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 0-1 pitch. Now here's one hit in the air. Come on, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. Make the turn, make the turn. Hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the way their pitcher is going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, telling the slab he's on fire right now. Now, back now it's back. Back. Oh, first. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. I think it was going first pitch. First movement all the way. And apparently, the pitcher knew it, too. Caught him leaning. in once again now is Mario Terrell. He delivered an Mario. RBI single in his last trip. Terrell. Hey, good one up there, huh? First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Down, down. On line, that's a base Round hit. it, find the ball, round it, round it. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. Now batting. The left Into the box. Connor came. Pitch misses low. The throw down. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Well, the difference between a caught stealing and a stolen base is often pretty small, and that was a really good example. If that throw didn't make the fielder reach across his body a little bit, I think he could have been out. Yeah, Dan, the throw wasn't all that bad, but it did end up a little more on the third base hey, side of the bag, and that may have been the difference. No, Inside, and he luck, falls behind luck, huh? the hitter now, 2-0. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in, 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Down Three low, balls. and no the strike. plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. Four seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped a clutch on that pitch. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The three and one pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And stepping in, Andrew Kisner singled in his last at bat. Hey, your pitch up there. Kisner. Put a good swing on it. Here we go. 
Now here's the first offering. No balls and a strike to count. All right, come on now, one time, let it fly. The 0 1 pitch. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one, one strike. Ball. One strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good that job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now we're looking to throw back to second. And the runner back. And that one yanked just foul. Terrell at second. Capel is over at first with one away. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So now here is hey, Mac pitch, James, pitch. and he now hasn't quite is. had the same the fortune at the man. plate as many Mac. of his teammates. No Jeez. hits for him so far. That a boy. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball? Didn't yeah, quite yours. catch one the ball. zone there. Perfect. Ball one. All right, one time here. That's and a fastball two. runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. Two two Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Yeah, your pitch, your pitch right here. Oh, now the double oh, steal is on here. Nope. Get out, get out, flush. Oh, it's there. He's out trying to take third. And a poor gamble in hindsight there is the inning is over. So nothing doing here after the six run outburst the inning before. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Memphis is out on top, seven to nothing. Three. So now into the box is Mario Terrell, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Hey, He's ready. Here's the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And to score is the run nice hit, third. It's a 10-0 score. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Yeah, man, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Let you, Connor. Stepping in now, Connor Capel has the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hey, need you right here. One time. Let's go. Comes set and the 0 1. Hey! Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So they pick up three runs on four hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Redbirds lead it 10 to nothing. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first seven. baseman, David the first Ramos. Baseman. Offense just David. needs to find a way to get that Ramos. pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get them back in this. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Terrell is there, and he has it for the first down. Now 
in the box. Tim Lopes. Now it was a walk in That's his last time. trip. Yeah. Lopes. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and they have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. Ten to two, the final in this game. Memphis led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Quinn Priester gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Riley Thompson was only able to... MLB the show in this presentation of minor league baseball today the finale of this three game weekend series between the Memphis Redbirds and the Nashville Sounds it's baseball it's the show and it comes your way next Luis Perdomo starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. And now in the box, Mario Terrell. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. First pitch, 205. The wind up and the 01. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Here you go, let it fly now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A very fine afternoon for baseball, 67 degrees here at first pitch. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So the end. Three. And that'll bring up Keston Huron, looking that to get on good. base and keep this the first inning alive. Keston. Two out, nobody on. Huron. Back up the middle and in for a base shoot, shoot, shoot. hit. Coming, hit me, shoot, shoot. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. The pitcher was upset about the call in the previous pitch, which could have been strike three. Then he serves up one for a double. A good example of why you have to have a short memory in this game. You let those things get you, and oftentimes they lead to more mistakes. He's out. All set for the start of the inning, and next it'll be the outfielder, Mario Terrell. Mario Terrell. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. 
Hey, need you right here, kid. Drive something. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Come on. Come on, let it fly right here. Ball. No Next offer inside. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Let it go. He's Three falling ball. behind one now. Strike. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count in his favor, three and one. Fastball in there, three and two. Three ball. Two what strike. a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be dying. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So here now is the pitcher, Luis Perdomo, Leading as we move on to the seven. bottom of inning number three. The pitcher, Luis Perdomo. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Terrell is right there, one down. Base is empty, third and that base means base Michael three. Franco, the third baseman, Mike will bat Hale. next. Franco. One out, nobody on. Line hard to center field. Terrell is there now, and he has it. Two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Out. He's out. Three. Out. Three. That hit him. He's got first. Ladies and gentlemen, you're right. Thank you. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Mario Terrell. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Terrell. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Terrell. Now batting. The center fielder. Mario. Terrell. Hey now, Byer. First pitch of the AB now. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Go hard, go hard, go hard. And there were two down. Digging in will be Joe Gray. He's over for one thus far. No, you're only down the one right here, but the exploding Yo. stuff that's coming out of the back end of Gray. a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus two, stuff two, two. diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. He's out. Three. Yeah. Ah. Four. Six, six. Striding in is Austin Dean, trying here Number to plate zero. the tying run from second. Let's go now, let's go, let's go. Come set, the 0 1. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and they have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. A 2-0 finish today. Memphis jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back.
Dakota Hudson gets the win on the mound his first of the year, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. Henry Silva closes the door for the save, his second. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and the rest of the crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshow.com. For the sound, no run. Three hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. I'm gripping